Myers and Brown, I'm a Sagittarius, and my favorite color is red. red. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is red. <laughs> And Mooses, and you'll never guess who's behind this camera. Turn it around. It's Owen Thomas from Valleywire. How you hey, doing, Owen? Yeah. How's it going? Great. Hey, you want to say something funny to Robert Scoble? Scoble. It's pronounced Scoble. Scoble. This is a secret. This is a secret. Is a secret. He's French. He's French. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's doing at Davos. I mean, Switzerland, <laughs> France, they're right next to each other. He's visiting family. He just happened to be there. He stopped by. You know, he's not really invited, but everyone's too, you know, polite and Swiss to say anything. <laughs> and folks, that's the scoop. We're here talking about you, Robert Scoble, and we're talking about everybody else we can figure out how to dish dirt on, and there's no dirt on my head, I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. And, and tune in the Valley Wag while you're, while you're doing all this stuff. I'll see you later. <laughs> I live in Brooklyn. Oh, nice. Hey! 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 Uh, hey! Hey! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, joining us is... Benoit. Tell from, us, from Daikana. Tell us about the company. So Daikana is a social network for businesses and individuals. So uh, when you sign up your business, you can add your employees, create accounts for them, so they can log in, they can collaborate together, uh, create action items, upload documents. You can also manage projects, and uh, you just can uh, network together, uh, bit like some other professional social network that I won't be mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Definitely. So it's uh, that's the that's the idea. The website? Uh, Daikana.com. Okay, cool. Daikana.com. Okay, cool. Cars are going to take one too. Hey, Laura, tell us about yourself. Yeah. What would you like to know? Everything. Everything. I think you're going to run out of tape. Uh, My business. Yeah. Um, what, what, what business? I are you am Flack. I've worked with a lot of tech companies. Um, right now I'm working for Ask.com. Before that, I worked yeah. with a food blog called Serious Eats, which yes. I adored working on, helped launch Mario Vitale's first web-only video series. Uh, I've also worked with NBC Universal Digital Media, MarthaStewart.com, and I also worked with AOL. And uh, on the side, I'm a Sagittarius. My eyes are brown, and my favorite color is red. Really? So, hey, what's your name again? Terry. Tell us about Lunch 2.0. Okay, well, Lunch 2.0 is this, um, it's, it's basically this scam a bunch of friends and I came up with when we were hungry and we decided we want to sneak into places and eat there and talk to friends. And then later on, we started getting invited to go eat at places for free. And it sort of snowballed from there, and that's how we started. Actually, the very first, uh, even before we called it lunch, you know, the very first place we snuck into was Google. Uh, with and the, my co-founder is the guy who got fired from Google for blogging. Oh so, yeah. So yeah, and we snuck back in. The day we snuck in was the day there was a front page article in the business Wait, section. What's this guy's name that got fired? Mark Jen. Okay. And he got uh, was the day there was a front page article in the business section of the Chronicle about people who got fired from blogging and there was a picture of Mark above the fold the day we were sneaking in I was reading the newspaper I'm like hey Mark you're in the paper and uh, and then it occurred to me that it was like the front page of the business section because it was a Monday and we're sneaking to Google trying to eat Google's lunch for free and there there's a big picture of the guy I'm sneaking in with about how he got fired from, from Google for blogging we actually sat uh, one table next to his former boss. But Google, it had been about five months, Google had grown so much that nobody knew anyone anyways. You know, they were doubling at an insane rate. So we went in, we had the cupcakes, we raided the refrigerator, it was great. And maybe that's why we're not invited back. <laughs> I've been to your lunch. Who else has been to this guy's lunch? Have you been there? Everybody? I have been to yes, a lunch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too, yeah. That's me. Everybody else here, I guess, has been. You've been the one. <laughs> no. 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 You've been the one. Oh yeah. You've been the one. Yeah, I definitely. Say, yeah. Actually, I can ask God say that it, on a, the day before I uh, applied for food stamps, I went to one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it, it saved my ass. I owe I owe lunch 2.0 a lot. Hey, He'd be and, dead and in folks, the gutter. This, yeah. Wasn't for lunch yes. This guy Kent is again Kent. Yeah. Is tell us about the censorship story. Oh God, censorship. Well, I've, I've 
had academically, I've had things tried to get censored by the dean of the university that I went to. And, you you know, can tell him what you see, think right here. Tell him what you think. Look at this camera and tell him what you think. Tell who him? Yeah. Oh, it's a her. She was a her. Marxist feminist that believed in artist responsibility towards making art. Miss Carol Becker. Carol Becker. <laughs> Carol, oh, you still alive? Did she read Anne Rand? Is this the issue? Oh, it might have been. She might have been. She a, really a, needed to read some Anne Rand. Yeah. 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 But it was interesting because, you know, when you debate someone like that on NPR, you definitely take so, from so words from their own books of, back in their face about yeah, yeah, yeah. Marxism and artist responsibility, you know. But yet she was censoring the students' work. Oh, and you survived. You lived to tell. Oh, yeah. I lived to tell. And it helped me when I applied for grad school. Every school I applied to knew what happened in, in the academic world. So that helps. <laughs> but the idea... <laughs> What's your name, man? How you doing? Hi, I'm Paul Butan. This is Laura Goldberg. She came all the way from New York to have dinner with my wife, who's sick right now. Laura's the star of our video. Red, Sagittarius. Red, brown red, eyes. Brown eyes. Big right. eyes. Big. Very big. Big, big, big eyes. Big, very Two. Big. Yeah. Not, Two. Not yeah. one. Not, not, not four. I called her up Two. once That's in like right. 2003. I know I do. Show. I can hear her eyes over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta meet this woman. I've got to meet her. And you, you want to know why he called me? Right. Because I reached out to him for his blog. I am the first flack to reach out to bloggers. That she is me. The first, yes, she was the first publicist who pitched me. And Jason Cotton. Not, not, and it wasn't, I love your blog, I have a great idea for Wired. It was, I love your blog, I have a great idea for your blog. And I called her up and said, you're the first person who gets it. And Kat and Kotke, um wrote about me. It was like it was crazy. It was wildfire. So I am a historic flak relic. Yeah, and then we had a long we had a long talk, and I blogged about it. And Laura calls back. She goes, "Let me explain to you what off the record means." Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. 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 And know, that's how I ended up in Valleyway. <laughs> You know, it, it's fun to teach journalists about journalism. I did that once with Ben Silverman. What happened to your phone? I don't know. Wild. Hey, so who are you? Uh, Andrew. Andrew, what's your claim to fame? Uh, I'm just uh, starting out in the city. Just started a job over at uh, CNET. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So you, don't, you don't have a startup or anything? You're just like, I do have a startup, yeah. What's it called? Uh, non lolcats Oh, tell us about it. Uh, it's brand new. It doesn't even have uh, WordPress installed, but it's uh, it's about serious cats. It's not anything to joke about. It's uh, very artsy, very poetic, and we're gonna. it's going to be hopefully a pretty big site. What's the uh, website, the URL? N-O-N-L-O-L-C-A-T-S dot com. All right, okay. thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, do you have a claim to fame? No. Okay. <laughs> How about you? What's your claim to fame? My name is Maya, and that's about it. Okay. <laughs> you don't know, mention that other thing that you do at all, or? <laughs> okay. The fame is. I knew Paul in 1989. Yes. Your, your claim to fame, but your name. Is My name Mike. is Mike. Your name is Mike. Welcome, Mike. Welcome, Thank Mike. You. Is that like Welcome, Mike? Okay. Cool. Red. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is red. <laughs>